I've recovered from a hopeless state of mind and body. I was very physically addicted to opiates and drugs. Sober now for nearly four years. Andrew Kazoulis could be the poster child for that one person you might never have guessed to become hopelessly addicted. You know, I was, you know, two-time all-star lacrosse player, uh, team captain, uh, all-star football player. Um, I did well in school. On his way to play college ball, one day Andrew happened to injure his back at work. Legally prescribed pain pills, but that's how it all began. When I found opiates and a supply of them, it took over very quickly. But as quickly as they came, those prescription pills disappeared. The doctors cut off his supply. However, by then, he was already hooked. You know, this is certainly not a drug problem. This is a, an addiction problem. An addiction that soon led to heroin, cheaper and easier to find. For more than three years, Andrew would inject himself up to a dozen times a day. I knew the heroin would make me feel better, and so I did it. But luckily for Andrew, his family never left his side, eventually getting him to rehab at a cost of some $6,000. But Andrew believes it probably saved his life. And I see a lot of people who don't have that support, they don't have those resources, and it's a near death sentence. Back on his feet, Andrew finally started college, a chemistry student at the University of Southern Maine. However, within months of finishing rehabilitation, he discovered his roommate dead of an apparent heroin overdose, a gut-wrenching reminder of why it's important to stay clean. So not only have I um, seen, uh, but also felt, um, and that's something that, uh, that I certainly relive daily.